I got really good at knowing where there would be a reflective, surf a reflective surface, like in public. I knew there, where there would be a storefront and I'd look the other direction. I could sort of spot a mirror from a distance and look in, in the opposite direction. So I really didn't know what I looked like. And I thought I could hide it with a scarf and dark clothing. I'm the director of patient services at SIBO Clinic. And what does that mean? What, what do you do? What does the director of patient services do? Um, most, initially, initially I do I do the education of the patients when they first come into the clinic. So I am responsible for their initial education, their initial assessments before they go forward. Basically, the psychotherapy, the nutrition, the physical, and the medical, um, they all come together a little bit differently for each patient, and I'm the one who's responsible for that. And you know where these patients are coming from. I was there. You were there. Tell me about that different world you used to live. All right, I used to live in a world where 295 pound girls live. Um, it's, it's honestly, it, it's a very different world from the one I live in today. And um, it's not as simple as just weight loss because with all that extra weight that's on you, it becomes it becomes something that controls your life, it changes your behavior, it changes the way you think about yourself and others. Um, it controls, I would comfortably say it controls every single aspect of your life and every single aspect of your behavior. Um, and in time, as it comes off, things change, um, and you change. So yeah, when I see these patients and where they are now, I can sort of close my eyes and imagine what they're going to be like in a year or a year and a half. They don't believe me, um, but then we see it happen. It's the most exciting thing. Honestly, I've got the best job. I think the biggest fear for patients emotionally going into this is the fear of failure and the fear of, oddly enough, losing food. Um, the food really is a very, very close friend to a lot of us and the thought of losing it although you know you want to lose weight and you know you want to be healthier but when the only friend you have even though that friend is a toxic friend if it's your only friend you kind of don't want to give it up and there's a lot of fear around that I think the biggest emotion here is fear and it probably helps uh, the patients that come through these doors knowing that you know you're not just reading from a textbook I mean you're, you're speaking from experience yeah, I think so. They've, I've heard it many times. I've heard patients say, oh, I'm so glad you know what I'm going through. Um, the best part is when they say, no, you weren't big. <laughs> That's even better. <laughs>